The aim is to do each 26 kilometer lap with the gas pedal to the floor, climbing up to 300 meters and then zooming back down again. The Nuremberg Ring was opened in 1927. It's one of auto racing's most demanding courses. Part of it is owned by racing driver Adam Osieka. His company bought a third of the course for 25 million euros, quite a buy. The company earns its money by giving driving opportunities to amateur racers who can afford their hobby. A pastime like this takes a budget of about 200,000 euros a year and, depending on the car, it could go up to half a million. And there's a whole lot of ancillary support too, not just for the car, but the customers as well. Some are executives, doctors, bankers, it's a real cross-section. Apparently, they can afford it. Osieka is a good businessman. In addition to his day job, he's working with a Belgian professor on a technology that he would like to market. And there is consistent fast. What looks like a mere watch on the outside is the housing for some highly sophisticated software. It's supposed to evaluate the stress on the driver. This 26-year-old is one of Osieka's best customers. He's financed by sponsors. can achieve speeds of up to 300 kilometers an hour. The sensors on the driver's body measure pulse, blood pressure, and surface tension on the skin. As the stress level rises, the driver gets some calming encouragement by radio. When you are under that level of stress, and for this driver, that means under 30%, he will make mistakes. He's too relaxed, he's not focused. A young driver goes very high. And then he's also slow. He will also make mistakes because he's overstressed. There's stress about the racetrack itself, too. Three years ago, the Nuremberg Ring was about to go out of business. There were no investors. So the state of Rhineland Falls stepped in with 100 million euros in subsidies. It was a huge loss for taxpayers. There was an emergency sale and part of the course went to Osieka and his partner. They had to invest five million euros, and Osieka says the deal was fair, despite claims of mismanagement and embezzlement. That's bad for the Nürburgring, and it's bad for us if we want to expand and bring in new customers for the Nürburgring and win over car makers to hold various events here. It's a huge problem. Osieka says the race course is booked up for the whole year. The more races there are, the more potential customers. He and his partner now want to market the new stress control system outside of auto racing. The system could be used later in vehicles that are produced in series, in trucks, for example, or in means of transport, such as buses or hazardous materials transport. It would make not just the vehicles safer, but the drivers, too. Motor racing is a lucrative business. And as a driver, Osieka spends a fair amount of time behind the wheel of racing cars. He knows the risks that you have to take to get the checkered flag. 